right, so the power button's on the right side, your right. Is this stopped? It's all stopped, yep. And it's a version one. I don't know if they ever replaced the batteries or not. Doesn't look too bad for stock. Bone stock. All right, so that's stock right there. Not bad for stock, right? You like it? Cool. There's the bike. Getting all a new swing on. Everything is getting all into everything, man. Even the body isn't gonna be uh, be on here. I'll show it once it's done. I'll put the regular this regular body on just to kind of show the look. Um, but he's not going with the body. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna start off taking this body off real quick, <clears throat> which is a four millimeter here two five millimeters underneath. Put the five on. Come underneath. Uh, we may have to, we got two more fours on the side actually. Three fours and two fives so far. Yeah, I'm always, whenever you hear me talking quiet like this, it's because I'm, I'm kind of outside my master bedroom and that's where my, my two daughters are sleeping and my wife. So yeah, three four millimeters and two five millimeters. All right, so we have uh, more four millimeters to take the uh, side, uh, side plastics off. And it'll be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll be six total. It's gonna be these two up here. It's one, two, there's one at the bottom. Three, there's one on the other side. That's four. Okay, we got five here. Six up here, all four millimeter. So it's not just six, it's actually a total of eight because there's also two more just like on the other side. And this one will have the charger and power switch, so we have to disconnect the wires in order to take that side completely, completely off of this. Anyway, so if we disconnect all that, we wouldn't be using any of that. Now, this is for the um, charge port. This is for the battery, breeze, <clears throat> and this is for the um, power switch. Oh, at least that plastic. Move up a little closer. 
And this looks pretty original still. Still the original batteries and the original, everything's original on it. Version one. So let's, uh, we'll just stay on this side. Okay. Good. Just disconnect the motor. Disconnect the throttle and disconnect. This is the brake, one of the brakes at least. And now there's gonna be another one. Yep, the front and rear brakes, and that should do it. Yep, that'll do it. There's more rotation. Yeah, I got no choice to do it like this because my gun won't fit in. Screw, man. All right, there we go. We got it. That's one here. Perfect. There's another one. All right, so my camera uh, died, so I didn't know. I didn't realize. So anyway, we took the the top piece off in one big chunk uh, with the with that battery. It was connected with the harness. Then we took the other two batteries along with it, all in one, just like that plastic so that's where we're at and uh we'll move on to taking the rear shock and the um the whole swing arm off we don't even we're not even going to take the I mean, anything off we're just going to take the shock off first and then the swing arm all right let's take off the rear shock it's going to be two five millimeters Push it out somehow. All right, old shocks out, and this thing is shot. Cat, straight cat, dog. All right, cool. So we got the uh, rear shock off. You see the uh, swing just just slam down there. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of yucky. Anyway, so um, we're gonna need to get a bigger tool. And I'll be right back. All right, you know, this is the only hex driver tool I got or Allen wrench that I have. Uh, I believe it's a 10 millimeter. Man, that's tight. Man, that's tight. Get the point. I'm gonna do this on both sides. Get the screw off. Do this end now. Should be able to do that. There we go. All right. There's one side. In there. Oh God. Hold the long piece. It's tight. I wish I had a. Uh, drill bit for it. I don't. <sighs> That's tight, man. Um, I'm going to have to step on this thing like this. I have no choice. You guys get the point. I'm gonna finish it off anyway, taking the swing and everything, everything else with it. Okay, there we go. And that swing should come right off. Oh, we still got the brakes connected, but it still should come right off. Still should come right off. 
Okay, hopefully that can hover for a second. And we'll come over here, we'll take this brake off. Let's take a quick All break. All right, you see we got the swing arm off, two 10 millimeter bolts. Get this brake off real quick. I don't know if it's a five or a four, I'm not remembering. It is a five. Um, let's take this one off first. I always remember it. I want to take that off first. Freeing that. And then pull this off. The caliper off. And as you see, voila, man. Fully assembled swing arm. And now we got to take the fork off. And, and the handlebars, fork handlebars and shit we're not even using this he's got a new one so we'll go ahead and take a quick break and then uh take the front fork off real quick we can take off these handlebars right here uh that's gonna be a six millimeter we're gonna start it Disconnect this brake because we could probably take everything off together. All right, we're at the front brake. We're gonna go ahead and do this one first since it's still on there. It's a five millimeter. Boom. Good. I'm gonna pull that through. Five millimeter over here. Actually, we really don't even need to pull this off, but we're going to anyway just because these were shot. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Did the break, and then now that'll that should free all this stuff, which then will free the whole. Uh, just gonna pull everything out. I know I need to. Uh, on the clip here. Boom, that's all the handlebars and wires. Voila. All right, to take this, uh, to take this, this off. Um, it's a 10 millimeter nut on the bottom. And we're gonna need to use a socket. Take the fork off. I use a socket. I'm just using an 11 16th. Uh, I think it's equivalent to a 17 or an 18 millimeter. And on the top, it's a six millimeter. Like that. Like that. Get it started. There we go. Okay, nuts off. Definitely in there. All right. There you go. To take this off, if I'm not mistaken, you have to uh, you have to take these off. Also, I had to do that with my RSF 350. I know that was a little older too. Well, that was the complete teardown of the original version one SX 500. down to the frame. He is getting new pegs too, so I will be taking these all the stuff that came out. The body, and then uh, some of the stuff that's going in there. Just some. Let's take the extreme. 
some kids in there and stuff. So anyway, we'll get this uh, we'll get this going. I'm gonna clean up and stuff and uh, take a little break. I'm running out of phone storage, so uh, I'll probably just do the uh, tear down video separate and then uh, and erase everything and then uh, do the um, the install. Peace out.